It's funny, he was booed at the weigh-in, and a lot of people around us were saying, why would you boo Timothy Bradley? Right. There's no reason if to If you don't it. like Timothy Bradley, you got a problem. <laughs> it was really just the people who were in favor of me. By the time he had the gloves on? Right. So it's going to lead me to believe, is there a feeling out round the first three rounds? Normally not his, uh, his normal MO. Yeah. Ready to go into the ring. Uh, ladies and gentlemen from the MGM Grand, of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Bob Arum's top-ranked boxing and MP promotions are proud to present the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Welterweight Championship of the World. Officials are ready, the fighters are ready for the thousands in attendance and courtesy of HBO pay-per-view, the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! He is the fighting pride of Palm Springs, California, the challenger, the current undefeated light welterweight champion of the world, Timothy. Sarangani Province, Philippines, the eight-time world champion and reigning, defending WBO welterweight champion of the world, Manny so used to seeing him look physically unimposing that in this, this looks like a fair fight. And we're underway. To me, he looks significantly smaller. He has put together Bradley. And if this was a bodybuilding competition, <laughs> man, it's one thing. But man, he, has, uh, he lives extra lean and, and, and very strict on his diet. <laughs> he has always worked hard. But genetically, he's gifted as we're out to a fast pace. Pacquiao lunging forward. Already doubling up on the jab is Bradley. This is a quick pace right out of the gate. Maybe he feels he needs to warm up a little bit. I mean, I was really concerned about, and I see a Band-Aid under Pacquiao's uh, right elbow. And if you notice, there's a Band-Aid there. You know, I saw that at the weigh-in, too. Straight right hand lands from Bradley. I noticed that at the weigh-in. I figured that'd just be gone as he got back into the ring. Already, we've seen a quick pace here, and Bradley having some effectiveness. Oh, good shot. Pacquiao had a shot on the way in. And already I can see that Timothy Bradley's not being the aggressor. He is choosing to be a little bit more of the counterpuncher, allowing Pacquiao to be more of the aggressor. And if you're looking for one of these fighters to wear out, they're both Energizer bunnies. These guys are not going to slow down anytime soon. Historically great in that regard. Correct. You're absolutely right, Mario. Based on his history, is a fighter that likes to put pressure, is a fighter who's relentless, who swarms. Good body shots, and those are scoring blows, by the way, for Bradley. Another shot down low. I say low, I don't mean illegally low, down to the body. Bradley doing a great job this first round. Pacquiao is a superstar. Bradley's just a world champion boxer. Nothing else matters. All that other nonsense goes out the window when everyone clears out of the ring. Good counter right by Bradley. He is really making his mark in the first round. Equalizer that can change the fight. There it is. He just threw it, the left hand. That is one of the best weapons in the sport. The straight left hand from Pacquiao. Now he goes to work. Pacquiao measuring him and getting to time in a little bit more, and now he's starting to warm up, Brian. Firing again, but that one was flipped by Bradley. Outstanding first round. Let go of that right hand. He'll walk into something. 
Round number two here, the main event, Manny Pacquiao, Timothy Bradley, and Timothy Bradley, the junior welterweight champion of the world, got right into a good boxing match. And I think Bradley has the exact, and that's exactly the hook that I thought Pacquiao was, is going to catch him with, much oh. like Kendall Holt. And this is what I was talking about earlier, Brian, that now the swarming and the rapid punches that Bradley's doing, once you get hit, you are who you are. He's got the Bushido. He's got the fighting spirit in that, hey, if I'm close to you, I'm going to try to harm you. Well, that's the Bradley we're used to seeing. Showing no respect for Pacquiao as Bradley steps in and ups the work rate. Yet, he has been caught now and then by something electric by Pacquiao. And Anything I, can happen here. Yes, and I firmly believe Pacquiao's right hook is going to be the secret weapon tonight. It just landed too, Mario. You're spot on. Pa Bradley's doing a good job of sticking to his game plan, still counter-punching, which, by the way, I think oh. is his best his best uh, uh, plan of attack. I've right. seen big guys bulldoze him. I've seen De La Hoya jab at him, but I've never seen him go back by a guy throwing strong combinations. Pacquiao's life complicated in the ring, and that's Juan Manuel Marquez, and that's the page they're turning to now. A high volume output is what Timothy Bradley has, a high volume output. If he's able to stand and trade with him, then it'll get interesting. Here's Manny Pacquiao with a big left hand. Bradley taking that punch rather well coming in. Joel Diaz in the corner says, you're controlling the fight. Other words coming in through saying, don't get careless. Wow, a good body shot there by Bradley, acknowledged by Pacquiao. There have been two occasions as Bradley measures Pacquiao, moves in right away. He's being aggressive. There's been twice as he catches him with a hook. Well, he's in tremendous shape, and he's shown some good whiskers in the past, Timothy Bradley. That was a good uppercut there by Pacquiao. Headbutts are pretty common in Timothy Bradley fights. So far, though, what we've seen, oh, and a jab and a quick left hand there by Pacquiao lands. So he's getting closer. Not throwing as many combinations or working the body as much as he's used to. Going a lot, a lot of head hunting. I don't know if he's got something to prove him. Beautiful combination from Pacquiao. Bradley fires right back. Good. And those are three punch combinations he's throwing. And he's throwing them hard. Fires right back. We've got a firefight in the third round. There is no, as Teddy Atlas would always say, guy I've worked with for many years, there's no silent contract between the two. Pacquiao, of course, recently coming to a clean life. I think this is purely an element of what he is facing in the ring as he backs up Bradley now. Living a clean, hard life his whole life. Yes. I mean, he has built himself for this moment. Biggest moment of his life. Look at the head movement by Bradley. He got caught with something and moved, but he was just off balance. But I'm just pointing out what I'm seeing. Third round, I think, could have gone either way. That shot might have been low by Bradley. But when you're looking at a Pacquiao fight, he is not sticking to usually what appears to be his game plan, which is to break down the body, more of a counter punch as opposed to the aggressor. Good body shot there by Bradley. Left hook to the body, and Pacquiao starts to get riled up. Oof, there's that right hook. Both landed on that. Pacquiao seems to enjoy the combat. So he oh. seems to be enjoying this as he throws a thudding left hand off the head of Bradley. And enjoying this? I think he just said to Bradley, keep him up. Well, he's, up you know, he's having <laughs> fun in there. He really is. He knows he's in there with something serious. Of that old sort of James Tony tuck and roll. I'm not getting hit. And he blocked a lot of those shots. And it's not as if he's laying back and being a technical. I'm talking about Bradley. He's actually firing. So it's, I, if I'm, a, I'm thinking as a judge, like if this goes to the cards, he's impressing the judge. Good body shot there by Pacquiao. If you notice though, other than this moment, he's been... Oh, Pacquiao landed in the left hand. Landed in the left hand and, and Bradley left. wobbled a little bit. It didn't look like much at first, but he snapped the head back and Bradley could be hurt. Another body shot by Pacquiao. That's a good professional move by Bradley. We saw that recently with Floyd nice body Mayweather shot against Shane Mosley. He got hurt, he held on. Can Bradley hold on? Nice body shot and a nice left hook by Pacquiao. Oh, oh a nice right by Bradley. Counter right by Bradley. Now, this is a flurry of punches thrown by Manny Pacquiao. He comes at you at so many different angles. He keeps you so off balance that when you're getting hit, it may appear to the judges that they're landing flush. That one there, there did land flush. But he's, he's hitting you, he'll hit you on the hips, on the angles. Timothy Bradley dizzy from being turned around so much. Cares about finishing the show out strong. Still wants to knock out his opponent. Still doesn't do enough to just get by. Wants to please people. If you take a step back, he has to also start winning rounds. Good jab there by Pacquiao. He keeps you spinning and he comes at so many different angles. It's a really hard thing to prepare for. 
Can Bradley keep that insane work rate? I'd like to see him go to the body more, and I'm sure Freddie would too. Flicking out a jab is Bradley. A tinge of energy drain on, on Bradley's part. Not tired, not posting, but just stepping off the accelerator a little bit. And this is a guy, when you look at him, looks like he could fight 100 rounds in a row. Oh, uppercut. Got to Bradley. No, oh. no, he's hurt. Moves back along the ropes. Pacquiao hurt him. The thudding concussive power comes from Pacquiao here. Bradley moving forward now, lunging forward. And that is not bold well for a Pacquiao uppercut. Winging power shots from both fighters. They're going to war. Tremendous fight. Man Manny Pacquiao coming up with a big left hook. Trainer shouting to him to not give up, to do it for his family. Not getting exactly instructions, now trying to get to his core. And while he has been, he looks, he looks slightly rusty. He's facing a very different animal this time around. But Bradley's still with his hands full. And Pacquiao has chosen, and I don't know if it's out of respect for his power or just to time him like that, but he's chosen to fight in spurts. Bradley was so busy. He was so sharp, so fluid. Pacquiao was just kind of looking back on, hey, what do I do with this guy? And I thought Cotto came in, was the bigger man, was a good boxer, and Pacquiao had to just wade through the fire to take him out. But Cotto and Margarito both don't have the tight hand speed that Bradley has. Right, short, tight, compact, compact. compact. This has been a quieter round now, but this is a round that is also scored. It means just as much as the other ones. And he's catching him a lot with those uppercuts. And he's got him in the corner. Let's see. Oh, that's a beautiful body yeah. shot. Two good shots from Pacquiao. Now Bradley in the corner. Pacquiao is looking for that explosive 15 seconds that could win him the round. It certainly does in the, the court of public opinion here at the MGM Grand. Oh, beautiful oh. uppercut. Beautiful. Oh, and he's, there's, that's, that, that's that elusive bobbing head movement that they clearly worked on in camp, and it's turning out really, really well. Brad here is that flurry I was talking about. Got him in the corner, and there was a big uppercut right there that landed. We can't see on that angle. Another great body work here. It was a hard right he gave him right to the body. There it is right there. Do you go for the greater punishment in a short spurt or a full two minutes where it was only Bradley doing the work? I, I, I don't have an exact answer, but I'm saying you could give that round to Bradley. Uh, scoring, I always look at who would I rather be oh. in that round? Yeah, <laughs> at the end of that, certainly. You'd rather be Manny Pacquiao as another uppercut lands. Uh, scoring, I always look at who would I rather be oh. in that round? <laughs> yeah, at the end of that, certainly. You'd rather be Manny Pacquiao as another uppercut lands. Everyone wants to get into the ear of their man. And a lot of concern and dangerously close to headbutting right in front of us here. <laughs> that he caught in a couple of those hard body shots. And then you know what, Mario? He has landed his most effective shots where he hasn't had full impact or leverage. It's, it's just amazing the power that he carries. He is one of the most physically unimposing champions I've ever seen. He's one of the greatest champions the sport has ever had. Yes. Fighting off the ropes now. Pacquiao spinning and throwing a right uppercut. He likes this. It has, and that's what was so effective. That's a good combination right there. Scored with the body shot. Oh, and an nice uppercut. Right Answering with the left hand is Pacquiao. Any of these shots can put someone down. Pacquiao is brilliant. He's in his 30s now. He's been in so many wars, Brian. Yeah, we were yeah. talking about it. I mean, forget the, the, the number of fights that he's had. They've been physical wars. He's got such fast hands. And we've come so close to having headbutts, but fortunately, they haven't happened, Brian. And that would be such a bummer. But I think, depending on how you scored round six, Mario, I have it 4-3 either way. I could easily have it 4-3 Bradley, even though it seems like it's becoming Pacquiao's night. The momentum seems to be with Manny Pacquiao yeah. as, as we go down the stretch because he needs to be at such a high work rate to beat this man. Yes, Good body shots by Bradley. Now he tries to fire off a double jab but misses. But Bradley again against Devin Alexander seemed to be jumping in with his head the whole night and good shot there. Right hook again by Pacquiao. Look at the knockouts nice. after round seven. Look, Pacquiao's a machine. Bradley's a guy who will box and beat you and physically impose his will. Rarely though will he just drop you with a shot. All the size was in the cast. The, the, the punching power can come from there. Well, that's why he's got to stretch those guys out. <laughs> it's going to take a second. I'm right. not even talking five and four anymore. This Man. is at a higher level. Hey, Pekka usually likes to close out rounds strong, so let's see. Bradley trying to move his head, tries to answer as well. Both of these guys have large heads. Yes, they do. <laughs> they that's, do. that's a really good thing to point out. They have helmets for heads. I don't have scientific data to back that up. However, no. just looking at them, Mario, they have large heads. 
round nine as the, things start to slow up a little bit. And again, I would say that would favor Manny Pacquiao. A pretty strong left hand. And Pacquiao's seemed to slow down a little in his work rate. Murderous combinations. Bradley loses his balance there. You better regain it quickly because Pacquiao did not waste any time pouncing. Pacquiao has such amazing balance. You're right. You never, you rarely see him out of balance, you out see, of sorts. You see quick hands often, but it's rare when you see a combination of quick hands and quick feet. Right, most guys you fight will not close you. He's got great closing speed. Oh, oh beautiful, beautiful combination. uppercuts. That was a oh. dazzling combination by Manny Pacquiao. And now they start to trade. A lot of time left in this round. Oh, and the ref breaking it up right when it gets interesting. Oh, and another beautiful uppercut. Another uppercut. Beautiful left hand by Pacquiao. Bradley is waiting right into the fire. He's taking chances. He's, he's going for it. Robert he's, Bird wanted them both to not, you know, have the clash of heads that we are concerned about. Good body shot. And another by Bradley. These are scoring blows. Look, you might go in thinking, hey, Pacquiao should be winning this fight. That's a scoring shot. Bradley's been answering really well in this round. And a body shot he follows up. Maybe Pacquiao does wait, as you said. He likes to close out. Maybe he waits for those final 30 seconds. Good digging body shot. That was shot a by beautiful Bradley. body shot. Bradley's scoring here. Again, don't look at body language. Oh. Look at the body shots. And that was a nice left hand by Pacquiao. Bradley seems to be sucking a little wind here, and he's standing a little close to Pacquiao. Now he moves in. But I'm trying to point out, that's a scoring shot. That's a scoring shot. Sure. Bradley is still scoring in this round. He looks tired. He looks like one shot could drop him. What did we hear in the corner that time, Mario? What did you think? He was he was asking, he was still, still a little pleading with it. There wasn't as much. He actually worked really well and was pleased with his work. He wants him to do a little bit more of the same and continue to go to the bottom, oh. which he just did. Cutting shot, so that's a three-punch combination. Two of them landed by Bradley, another shot lands. Bradley, a lot of respect I'm giving him. Hanging in there tough, he looked like he was on the downward spiral, but coming back. Like he's got a fighter-friendly face, meaning his feature, he doesn't have the Eric Morales nose, if you will. Right. He's got a nice big head. And decorated, decorated career that he's had as an amateur and as a pro. Wow, big right hand just slapped it on the side of the head. Pacquiao as if to say, yeah, that was good. I'll give you that. Acknowledging. Straight up the middle comes Bradley. I have to say, Bradley is throwing so many scoring shots. Throwing double jabs up the middle, throwing winging hard shots. He keeps moving away from Pacquiao in his power left hand. Suddenly he's not on his toes dancing anymore. That and happens when you reach your mid-30s. And the irony, it makes for much more entertaining fights. Yep. <laughs> when you slow down, suddenly it gets exciting. Tenor of the conversation in the corner after round 10 for Timothy Bradley was time to be a warrior and win a mega fight. Not just look great and win respect. He's done that already. But to actually win a mega fight against a great fighter, and that was a good shot in these last six minutes. Yep. Look, I, I could be out of my mind, Mario, and maybe I'm talking myself into it, but I could easily give the last two rounds to Bradley. Consistent work by Timothy Bradley and has kept the explosive champion and number one fighter in the sport at bay. There was never a question in my mind that I think he would wilt under any sort of psychological pressure or dealing with any sort of adversity. He's a tough guy, raised by a tough man. The tornado that is Pacquiao early on, and he seems to have made a nice adjustment in yep. counter-punching and letting his jabs go a little bit more. You're absolutely right, because mid-rounds, it looked as though the momentum had indeed shifted, and it was about to become Pacquiao time. That has not happened. That's an excellent point. They've been lulled to sleep by a man just with a good, sharp jab and a lifetime of work and dedication. Bradley moving away. The Bobby and Weaving, he's yep. a cagey guy. He has only been hit with a few things on the side of his head that has wobbled him. He has never been pummeled, he has never accepted punishment in the corner as he spins out right now. Final round, and it's been terrific. Manny Pacquiao, Timothy Bradley. These have been very difficult rounds to score. All I know is that Timothy Bradley has made a great account of himself, and he is extremely competitive here. Could he be on the verge of an upset? It's possible. Could we, could we just be on the verge of another great Pacquiao effort and he gets the win? And hold his head up high. He fought with a lot of courage, showed a lot of heart.
and people are going to respect this performance. He came here to win. The mix includes yeah. Pacquiao rematch that he was trumpeting. Of course, he would figure that he would have won to have to get that. Or possibly Mayweather. Mayweather in jail right now. You, want, you wonder if Pacquiao is going to try to close the show, if he'll try to do su something superhuman. I was just... I think they just used most of their ammo in the first six rounds, yes. Mario. I think that they exhausted each other. Good work by Bradley inside. And oh. more from Bradley. Bradley got him with a good hard shot there. Well, oh, the crowd, you can hear the buzz. They're waiting for something big, and Bradley with a good answer. It was Bradley who's catching Pacquiao. Last 20% of the fight, last couple of rounds. He's been fighting very smart the last three rounds. In fact, he caught a second win. Yeah, now he's jumped. He's given it everything he has. He's worked his whole life for this moment. He's done something terrific here tonight. The crowd going for Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao jumps in with a straight left, tries to go with the lead left hand. You know what? And new WB.